First off, something a bit different. How did you enjoy your Nando's Monday? Yeah, I think it was like a great day to be fair. Like, to be honest, I was a little bit like, oh my God, it's going to be like, it'd be weird. But um, in the end, like, we went there, like, it was like great people coming, uh, we had good, good fun with the lads. And um, in the end of the day, it was like for a great cause, so uh, it was a good, a good day for everyone. How did you find, you were hosting, weren't you? How did you find hosting? Yeah, but there's no one like, to host, or, like they send me everywhere, like sweeping the floor, and uh, there's a table, there's a waiter. So um, well, I enjoy it, it was a great fun and uh, everyone was nice and it was lovely to see some, some great people as well. Back to matters on the field, um, how important is Saturday's game and, and getting that momentum back? Yeah, I think we've got, um, we've got some five games left and uh, I think we need to, to, to go back to our firm and uh, form and I think it's going to come back by, uh, by enjoying our football like we've done uh, all season and um, just just take every game uh, seriously to, to to get confidence back for for the playoff. Do you think that that's it? It's one of those things that will just click into place, or do you think it's something you just need to keep working at to get that form back? I think yeah. You see, I think we need to, to take it like uh, yeah, like we need to, to work on stuff uh, to, to to get ready. And uh, I think it's a good stuff we've got as a playoff um, secured uh, quite early, so now we can we can uh, work on what we want to do and where we want to be for, for the playoff and uh, so we're going to enjoy it and, and see, see, see how it goes. How are you feeling personally? Obviously you had an injury problem a couple of months ago but back playing now, feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. Um, at the start when I come back we had like three games in a week so physically it was a, it was a bit hard but no, I feel, I feel better and I enjoy it to be fair. Like, personally I feel I feel, um, I feel all right there but obviously um, couple of mistakes uh, against uh, Sheffield night, but uh, like I said, like, we need to get, I'm working as well and um, trying to, to to put the team forward and play and sometimes it's a bit at risk, but um, I'm sure um, I will put this in uh, in order for, for the playoff. Does that motivate you sometimes when you when you do make a mistake to come back stronger and, and better? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the sort of people who's going to hide in there, like when I do a mistake, like I think it's, it's part of my game and uh, um, I think when when I do stuff well, I think I can bring like something like a bonus to the team. But sometimes, yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit high risk. So I I know I know I know I know that, and I try to to limit to limit the mistakes at the maximum. But I know it can happen, and it's not gonna stop me to 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 try to play. And I'm I'm still want to be to do better and do less mistakes and that. So um, I'm working it every day, and I'm sure I'm sure we get better. One thing that's been, um, there's been a lot of things that have been striking about this season, but the sheer consistency of the back four, yeah. the defence as a whole, even when you know we've not been scoring at the other end, it's never really that level of intensity has never slipped. Has it? it must be something that you must be really proud of. Yeah, yeah, but like we say, we almost want to get better, and um, I think the fact we haven't um, kept a clean sheet like the was the last three three games maybe. Um, so I think it's a bit frustrating for us because we always want to, to 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 keep that clean sheet, and we've got like some so, some some great defender we, we like to defend, like um, Scotty and Clarky and, and Gary and and Elliot. Like so, um, even Jonesy coming back and doing really well in that. So I think we're really eager, is it eager, eager, eager to um to to get back to this clean sheet and get the confidence. Because like, it's important as well for a striker because if they know we're not going to concede, like, it, it gives them this little bit of more confidence to, to get forward and, uh, and score goals. Nathan Clark, you mentioned him there, he's played every single game in the league this season, 41 games. What have you learnt about yourself and your own game plan alongside him over the last couple of years? I think it's just um, the way he is for every game where he's ready to put like, um, his body on the line and stuff. and. Uh, He's, a, he's really brave and what it means to him like every game. So um, yeah, in, in this aspect I learned to him. But I'm, I'm, I'm like this, like, I, but maybe it doesn't show like this because of the way I play and stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I learned to him like, in, in, in the way that he battles. And, uh, so um, I think I improve, I improve like, playing on this side and uh, I, keep, I hope I like, keep doing it. Lastly, the sun's out, golf season coming back. Who's your tip for the Masters? 
Ah, so you said uh, who's the tip for the best player in the team? Um, now for the Masters, I don't know. I, I like Adam Scott. I think he's great. Um, well, it didn't happen a lot of time. People were winning a uh, six um, season, so um, I back him up. And uh, we'll see if like an English English one, uh, a British one. I would say like a Mikey Roy can win it. Would be great. Well, about the O's golfers. Um, He's, have you done much practice over the winter? Nah, I'm a big guy. I didn't want to have a proper go this year, but uh, with my injury, like it'll be slow me down. I've been ill a bit at the start of the week, so stop me as well to play. But um, I have a proper go. I've got some lesson coming, and uh, the lads like start playing, and I'm a big guy, so I will need to to work out to close the gap with them.